blanket. Oh, oh my. <laughs> All right, Alex, how hot is that seat? Well, after Bailey attacks me, it's very hot. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Alex is my boyfriend Graham's assistant. Also, I am not this small. It's just the couch is shorter. It's the wide the angle. The You're wide already angle. taller than me, but <laughs> I feel like a child. Why he's so handsome. Oh, was that my wife? Did my wife comment that? Who? <laughs> it's Graham. Thanks, Graham. How old are you? 26, now. What have you been doing since the conversation with Alex Hermosi? Oh, that's a good one. If you guys don't know, we had an Ice Coffee Hour podcast uh, where we had Alex Hermosi, which is this really buff dude. Um, and we had a conversation about weight loss because I brought it up to him. And uh, since then I've been tracking my calories. I've been focusing, to be honest, more on nutrition over like workout because yeah. Um, from my understanding and from what I, from what I know is uh, weight loss comes from nutrition. So kind of, because uh, this is my world. I just want to cut in really quickly here and say there's a lot of reasons why somebody can have weight gain. There can be hormonal issues, da 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 But the most common one in the States is overeating. Um, so I'm kind of giving more just general statements based on overeating rather than all those other issues. Don't change your diet without speaking to a doctor or a nutritionist or some other specialist. Either you're eating right at the calories that you need, you're negative yep. or you're positive. So those are called positive and negative caloric balances. If you're trying to lose weight, you want to go to a negative caloric balance. You don't want to go below a certain point because you'll mess up your your metabolism mm -hmm. and then that's where you can have issues. But if you have a negative balance, you'll start to lose weight. I don't know if people care, but um, now I'm down nine pounds. So wow. yeah, I mean, for me, it's not that like it doesn't make a huge of a difference, but mm -hmm. Um, it feels good. Would you ever eat the hottest Houston's hot chicken tender ever again? No. Yeah. That was so hot. You better hand me that water. <laughs> it's hot. Dude. Alex, are you crying? Yeah. It's, it's it's hot, but it hasn't really hit me yet. It's going to get worse, I feel like. That, I, 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 it's that. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> who is funnier, Macy or Graham? Oh my gosh, it depends on who, what kind of sense of humor you like. Dad jokes or like, uh, like, how would I say it? Like puns, I would go Macy. Really? Yes. Graham is more like pranking, pranking funny. What is something you think people don't know about me, Graham and Jack? Okay, so one thing that people don't know about Macy, well, until recently, you're the most consistent person at working out that I've ever seen. One thing that I think people don't know about Jack is sometimes he lacks social awareness, let's say. He brought a, a girl over on a date and- <laughs> This is my favorite. <laughs> he basically turned it into a double date with his roommate. I mean, I know people know it, but I feel like some people might not know the extent of it. It seems like a bit. It really it does. is. Yeah, it seems like a bit. Yeah, I've known Jack for too long to know it's not a bit. <laughs> One thing that people don't know about Graham is when he's really passionate about something, like he just, goes really hard at it. Even though he does work like a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean like a lot, um, if he still likes something, he'll still find time to, to do it. What happened to you living with Jack? Oh, that's a hot seat answer. I did not move in with Jack because of two reasons. One was he didn't really seem to like the cats. And then the other thing uh, was when he was telling me he was moving into his house, um, which was his friends, I didn't have a problem with it. I have a wife and I'm married and stuff. Um, our dynamic is a little bit different than Jack's. Oh, and the space. On a typical work day, who does Graham spend more time talking to? Me or you? On a typical work day? Yeah. Probably me. Do you feel like you get paid enough for what you do? Um, yeah, I feel like I get paid enough for what I do. As I get better, Graham's given me more money as well. So mm -hmm. I used to be spread really thin, but now I'm at the point where I can edit and still do other, like I, I want to launch i'm considering doing wedding shooting again how demanding is graham my own perspective at the end by the way extremely demanding demanding in terms of like you gotta get all this done today no demanding is in um like per, uh, how do i say it perfectionism perfectionism or picky extremely demanding so this is my perspective i want to do a podcast with graham for a while where we go over relationship and stuff and this is like well before two hot takes i wanted to have a couples channel where we could go over that give like relationship mm. advice talk about like 
financing and budgeting as a couple. And I haven't had a name for it until the other night when Ask Sebi was like, why don't you two do a podcast together? I'm like, I've been wanting to. He's like, you could call it like couples therapy. And I was like, I love that. But Graham has recognized himself that he is too much of a control freak and it would either need to be, I'm stubborn too, and he's very stubborn, um, that we would have a problem with that. He doesn't want how he is as a business person to affect our relationship. What's your least favorite part working as Graham's assistant? I'd say my least favorite part is we're all kind of running our own businesses. So my wife works a regular job mm -hmm. and she always wants to go on trips and stuff. And you know, it's not that I don't want to go on trips. It's just like, I kind of rather work and make money. When you own a business, it's like, if you take time off, it's it's okay, you're, you're allowed to, but it's kind of up to you like. When you work for a business, the business will find someone else to fill the role that you will do. Yeah, yeah. When you are the business, only you can make up that work. Exactly. So I do have to find a balance. Like we went on a cruise, but I yeah. want to. I want to. Is making more money worth more than having a balanced life? To an extent it is, and to an extent it's not for me. When I was making like minimum wage, um, for me, the balanced life versus making more money was 100% worth making more money. So if I can make, I'm just making this example up here, but uh, if I was already working a job where I'm making, let's say $400,000, which again, a lot of money, the difference between 400 dollars and $700,000 for me, which is $300,000, is not gonna make a difference in yeah. my life because of the way that I live. I would rather take the lower salary and have a balanced life. And again, you can apply that to like any scale of income. For how long do you see yourself working for Graham? Um, that's a good question. I think it depends on on what we're doing because I think there may potentially always be a, a place to scale. You know, if we're growing a business and there's opportunity, um, I mean, I could honestly be here forever. How do you feel about the vlog being taken over by? <sighs> Guys, told you so. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, I told Graham um, before we did that that it would get very repetitive. But on the flip side, uh, the content that I was making wasn't growing. I kind of am sad that the vlog is kind of like not as consistent. But at the same time, when we first started it, that's what we said it would be. It would be, I know a lot of the fans kind of miss it. Yeah. Hopefully the videos that we do make are just like 10 times better. Will you do a net worth video of yourself, kind of similar to what Graham does? Yeah, I would consider doing a net worth video. I know for the next coming videos, I'm doing a house tour and I'm doing a what I spend in a week. I think you inspired me. If you guys want to see that, I'm happy to post that on, on my channel. How's life been? Or how have you been since the wedding? Good, nothing's changed. Except we get tax benefits now. I have one final super spicy question. How spicy is it? Extremely. Oh my gosh. Um, Go ahead. Are you thinking of having kids? Oh my gosh, I knew this one was coming, <laughs> but I didn't know this one was coming. I really want kids. Mm -hmm. um, however, I don't think now is the time. Um, I see myself having kids within the next three years. I think that's a pretty good time frame, um, but things can change. If you enjoyed this and you wanna see somebody else in the hot seat, comment down below who, because I would love to pull more people into the hot seat. I really enjoy doing these videos. If you guys for more content like this, I do lifestyle, a little bit of finance, and a little bit of wellness. So with that said, don't forget to end the video